Welcome, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. This is Ascended Stars, Ali Jade, bringing you the January 2022 New Moon and Capricorn reading. And I hope everyone's doing well. I'm wishing you guys a wonderful, I hope you had a, a good, safe New Year's. And um, let's get straight into it. I've already pulled the cards. Not willing to waste any time lately. <laughs> Today is a Capricorn high degree moon. So I love this energy when it's on the, you know, the last ha haul here of Capricorn. It really puts, sets things into place to um, get things done. <laughs> and for me, that's what I need to do. So I hope everyone's getting their stuff done. Okay, so the first card up is the High Priestess. Is this the High Priestess? Uh, so, oh, I love her. Sarah Savati energy. I'm sorry, the Empress energy. This is the Empress. It's gorgeous energy. So you're about, this is about motherhood, abundance projects uh nurturing yourself because so she's hitting she's sitting on a huge lotus so there could be a, a massive time of transformation which you have overcome which you have um and end, endured is the word endured you're okay so nine okay this one has been coming up like nobody's business okay so it's been a struggle for you to get to this place or maybe uh i heard wise owl so your ancestors could be guiding you and helping you to make a wish come true to get over something painful but there's something good at the end of this painful situation and princess of um wands now in this deck they have princesses usually it's always just the knight of wands but in this deck they have princes and princes and um so this is you still putting your passion and your drive into something that maybe uh it's just been daunting or you got like a you were stopped for a little while like you were halted, stopped, or the holidays came in and kind of made a disruption here. But you, it's, you know, you really have a passion project or you're very passionate about something. Could be about motherhood. Maybe you really want to become a mother. Six of swords. But you got to get away from something that's toxic, that's not helping you. It's a form of thinking, a thought form, how you grew up, what they told you, and maybe coming to a realization of different beliefs than than your um than your counterparts or your the people and family that you're around now freya freya is really wonderful too she is the goddess um very powerful and this is the chariot card so you have to get a hold of your emotions so maybe some of you are extremely emotional and it's about leaving the past behind yeah six of cups representing the past okay all right we're gonna leave it there yes yeah, something's coming okay something beneficial somebody wants to give you something um that it's gonna help you to grow yes oh my god five six seven sacrifice there was a sacrifice made or you need to sacrifice something that like you can't take it all with you she's got a baby in her hand i've never seen that she's never had a baby in her hand before or no she doesn't is it her robe no there's a baby in her hand because you could see the little black uh, head on the top so this is could be about nurturing yourself this could be about really loving yourself this could be about you know you you went for something and it didn't come out the way you wanted you know you did you made things you would made choices and decisions based from your past belief system. And it didn't come to the fruition that you thought it would. But in the end, you will get 
something here. You, you Once you heal, you will get something that you'll be rewarded, something valuable to you. It's a particular valuable thing to you. But you feel oppressed, okay? And you really got to trust spirit, trust trust spirit and the way that spirit moves in your life right now. And um, you're not believing in things, you know? You're like uh, giving your power away here, it looks like. Seven of Cups. And now we have you, the Queen of Wands. You need not to give your power away and learn to harness your energy and bring back your things to you, your your energy. Because eight, um, the Pluto House of Transformation. I think you've been too kind, giving, loving, or or accommodating, and that has not worked for you. And you have to walk away, maybe from somebody or something, or unhealthy, not very good for you, okay? Yeah, so this is the high priestess. Now, I mean, now we get to the um, empress. The three is the empress. So I'm, I'm, I misunderstood the card. I don't have my, it's early in the morning, guys, sorry. So there's a secret here that's happened, okay? But... Through living a life of secrecy, maybe you guys kept secrets. You didn't let things, um, you didn't tackle things the right way. Okay, you 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 just kind of like, oh, I'll I'll deal with it. I'll I'll put it under the rug. I can handle it. And something happened here where you were you're being too immature about it. Okay, maybe you need to learn to ask for help when you need assistance. Okay, um, and then this is the empress energy fertility okay so this is um estanath estanalethi estanalethi i think is like indian or but this is um empowering yourself being at one being at peace with uh the, the choices that you made there's a lot of like feminine energy for you guys here okay let us pursue the next Part of the video and that's the divine feminine so what i do is divine feminine on my left divine masculine on my right and uh we look into the energies of both of you guys and so this you could look at it of like you you have a masculine it does not have to be another sagittarius but you can look at the, the divine masculine energy as the counterpart or you can see it as aspects of your inner persona that is unequal, you know, unbalanced, divine masculine and divine feminine not being fully balanced within yourself. Because if you're single, you're like, well, am I ain't seeing anybody? But if you are, that could be this, the, the, the divine masculine energy could be the, the counterpart energy to your energy, okay? Woo, sorry, it's very confusing, but I know you'll understand because you're very smart. So for divine feminine, we have the 10 of pentacles. This is a cycle ending. And um, it's a karmic cycle. It's about family. It's about loyalty. It's about, uh, I hear, endearing. Something very endearing close to your heart. It's about the family unit most most definitely. But it's about you having been the leader in the family unit. Having been the, the main character here, right? Then we have, again, the empress. Who is about motherhood. This is about your choices with your children or... Um, things going on within the family unit under under the under the roof of the family. Um, there's a lot of loyalty, a lot of defending, and I think you need to be gentle with yourself. Some of you have gone through a lot. You know, the South Node was in your sign the last 18 months. King of Swords. Okay, yeah, this is definitely about you being more gentle with yourself. This could be somebody that you were with, you know, who was like a king of swords energy. He wasn't emotionally available and he was working against you. He was like plotting against you or he had people around him. I kind of feel, okay, what I pick up is that this man had lovers and their lovers attacked you. Their lovers attack you um, because he's emotionally unavailable to you because he's out like, uh, what is the fast with grand dream? I, I don't know what that word. I can't even say the word. He's out. I heard laundry. It's like he's spending, he's, he's, you know, like you're supposed to do laundry in your house, but it's like he's, he's, he's has, it feels like this man has said a lot of things 
uh, bad about you or he talks pillow talk yeah with lovers so there is like he's sped he's spreading his business he's not emotional to you but he's out emotionally like chatting and, ch and talking to others about you or the household and um and it's because you're you're a very powerful person to reckon with like you have a lot of maybe admirers or, or you have like a you have a good tight home like i feel like you have a good home like hold on your home front you know you're the queen of the castle there this man could be a narcissist who wants attention who wants more than you and actually he's with an empress so he doesn't know how you know you need an emperor this this energy doesn't know how to give how to uh, reciprocate this is not very good energy oh dear 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 yeah you've been backstabbed five of swords you've been backstabbed here okay and um you got the better upper hand but now people just don't want to contend with you or this is like you don't want to contend with them but you could, you've been backstabbed and you've been really hurt and you're innocent in this matter but this person is like a piece of freaking work wow oh my god three of swords under the deck this is like a super painful transformational time you are the one on top you have to gain your courage um I, he I feel like you have to go like to a cottage somewhere and, and heal. Like I feel like you have to get away from the home to heal from this. Because I heard cottage. I was going to say courage, but I then I, I wanted to say cottage. And I was like, well, that's not what I want to say. Yeah. So that, that, that gives me the feeling that you, it's like you, you need to go to like a retreat and, and, and heal separate from this person. And you might meet somebody like the love of your life there or something because you'll be victorious. You're entering a new journey. You finished a whole cycle of something with this person, this individual. So now you're going into a new cycle. And you have to heal. You have to take time to heal your wound, your woundedness and whatever happened with that person. This is going to take a long time. Somebody wants to come in. They're looking at you from afar. It could be a, a earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But um, you're feeling very left out, maybe with your children, maybe with your inner child wounds, seven of cups. It's time for you to slay those dragons baby face those things that make you want to go out and be with other people it's time for you to be with yourself and heal this is a heavy reading yeah there's a lot of pain here for my sages i'm so sorry but you gotta get the truth get down to the clarity this is a big huge spiritual lesson there's a maybe an injustice that has occurred here for you seven of pentacles and you're waiting yeah to heal to heal this the situation you're going to get illuminated but it you're illuminated about the betrayal is what's going to happening like you are very illuminated about some betrayal this person was out to get you and you got to get in control of your emotions here to keep it pushing keep moving and there's somebody who's more emotionally available, maybe a male or a woman who's going to be um, there for you. Or you need a psychologist or some kind of uh, therapy here to, to, to talk about all these emotions that are in you from a neutral stance. And seven of wands. Yeah, it's like people have been attacking you maybe your whole life. Maybe you feel that this has come to an end. Okay, this is spirit said this is finished. Maybe somebody died. The moon. Okay, there's secrets about this. On okay, so it's time you're gonna get some money, I guess. Maybe some money's coming in, but then you maybe got oh, there is like a happy family down the road here. Once you heal some toxic uh, BS, you're gonna be going into a relationship that's gonna be very f emotionally fulfilling and beautiful for you. And this person's going to want to give, and they're gonna be a giver into the connection. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's just a one feminine Sagittarius collective. Good luck, my loves. Good luck. Now, what else we have here for you? Some personal lessons or more information that they want to tell you. Um, you might want to, this is the ninth house. So you are the ninth house. Sagittarius and the ninth house are one and the same. And um, this you're about education, philosophy, and adventure. Hold on. I got to put a pillow under my booty. <sighs> my circulation. I'm on a bench. That's wood. 
that is not feeling great. Okay, wow, what a difference. Oh my goodness, okay. Uh, education, okay, so... So travel, advancement, higher learning, knowledge, expansion is here for you or available. Oh, excuse me. The ninth house represents advanced knowledge, far away travels, and mind exploration. The ninth house is about philosophies and profound studies. The zodiac sign that is placed in the ninth house indicates mental pursuits in, in subject matters that interest you. It symbolizes long journeys to foreign lands as well as expanded journeys of the mind, body, and soul. The path of the ninth house paves for us is cultured, intellectually advanced, and open to new realities. It leads to greater understanding and awareness of the world around you from a higher perspective. The sun. Libra. So somebody could be very significant, a Libra here. And um, your core representation as Libra. See, Libra, yeah, this could be Libra. This could be a Libra man right here. That could be the Libra man. Okay, the core representation as Libra is peace, love, and harmony. This person is like the opposite of those things. Hate, uh, chaos, <laughs> and um, yeah. You're friendly, social, and diplomatic. You are extremely romantic and see the beauty in everything. This person probably had you, you know, I'm sorry, but this person just seems to be a piece of work. Okay, the essence strives to create harmonious connections. This person gave you nothing but like kickback and struggle. You frequently search for love and meaningful partnerships. Probably somewhere else, not with you. <laughs> Your talents are in your charming, idealistic, and artistic personality. You're easy to talk to because you listen well and all and see all sides of a situation. You go out of your way for others and have a very generous heart. When you feel balanced and surrounded by love, you can abundantly attract your desires. This could be like where you're going, like, you know, where things are taking you. So then you have sacred ecosystem. So you have to really care for your body, my loves. Or maybe you guys are becoming advocates for veganism or uh produce right like um organic foods things like that you're changing all that up okay somebody has been obsessively thinking on the divine feminine side you gotta let that go somebody has been attached to results that never came perhaps and you have to let that go lady venus now she is in retrograde energy downloads and understanding truth is being revealed deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm so you're getting revelations about things like you nobody can hide the truth from you because you definitely know what the truth is a leg up you're getting a help so that pentacle energy is like somebody's going to come in and give you a hand maybe your own children maybe you're connecting with them to do some work seven is the seventh house again of libra okay so three is the Gemini house of com siblings, communication, uh, intimate, intimate, personal friends and things like that. And four is the, the house of cancer, which is your home. OK, so there might be a lot of activity at home and somebody might help you. OK, somebody very powerful, somebody that's a polar bear. So they're powerful. And then to be fair, you have to come back to e equilibrium. you got to get back on stance. The world needs Sagittarius. So. Again, Gemini energy. So your friends are trying to. So you, you lean on your friends, okay? They are. They have wise counsel for you, and they they might be. Um, you might have a Libra friend, who can be non partial, non judgmental, and you can maybe have a good cry with this person. The eighth house could be a Scorpio friend too. Okay, so thirty eight. That number being significant. All right, let's go ahead and now look into the masculine energy. So with the masculine energy, we have the devil. This is toxic behavior, being connected to toxic people, places, or things. It's unhealthy, unbalanced, overdoing it, overindulging, okay? Um, me, 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 narcissist energy. This is drug addiction. Um, this is being into like theft and underhanded dealings. So that's the vibe for the masculine. That is not a good look. You could be a masculine, if you're not, if you're a woman, you could be dealing with a Capricorn energy. And today is the, the full moon, the new moon in Capricorn, the third, the fourth. And I'm doing this on the fourth. 
nine of pentacles so you have to become independent self-sufficient um from this energy that is affecting you the lovers okay so somebody uh wants to choose a good love here but they, they they need to be like more in the independent energy of nine of pentacles because it seems like this person who might be coming in doesn't have good intentions for you yeah death they don't have anything good for you and it could be that you were involved with like you're being guided to separate yourself from a toxic connection that no longer is working for you uh two major arcanas the lovers and the death card You might be getting a divorce. You might be getting a divorce from a Gemini. Uh, okay, or an Earth sign. Earth sign strong too. All right, so let's see here with um, Two of Cups. Look at that. Love is coming in for you. So maybe you're getting a divorce because you've fallen head over heels for somebody else. Or you want to be single and mingle. But there's somebody... It's like I get the feeling like somebody's saying, no, I just want a divorce because, you know, I, I, we're, it's not working out for me. But I feel like they have somebody that they're very sexually attracted to that they want to get connect with. Oh, my God. So they're pretending to be single, that they just want to be single. Mm, okay, let's see what this is. Two of Pentacles. So they want to make that choice to move away from an old connection and invest in a new connection. But they're in between now because they probably need to pay payouts and child support or uh, mortgage, car loans. And they want to work with somebody else. Yeah, look at these two energies. They're consecutive, two and three of pentacles. And they're looking separately. Okay, so somebody's like trying to fix the past and balance their finances with the past and whatever they have involved themselves in. And then they want to go into the future and invest with somebody else and work with somebody else. Uh, page of Swords. So somebody is spying. Somebody is very low vibing here. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is waiting to make sure that it's maybe the right time to come out about this connection this relationship or who they have really strong feelings for with two all right let's see um we got the scorpio energy again so this could be somebody that they want to romantically hook up with that is a scorpio and we got the scorpio card the scorpio moon qualities of scorpio moon are idealism ambition and determination now, this could be for Sagittarius. This is your reading. So this could be characteristics and um, traits that you're now embodying to get you to where you need to go. All right. So it says your memory and sense of judgment are keen, sensual and magnetic qualities allow you to attract things you are passionate about, including people, careers or hobbies. Your energy is intense, imaginative, emotional and intuitive. You observe and quickly evaluate everything around you like a hawk diving after what is needed to thrive see some i feel like a scorpio went after sagittarius or sagittarius is extremely just enthralled with the scorpio energy it's intense imaginative emotional and intuitive you observe and quickly evaluate everything around you like a hawk diving your thoughts are transformers transformational and often generate change your subtle ability to see beneath the surface brings new perspective which may be inspirational to others your spidey senses might be off the hook as well like you nobody can lie to you because nobody can really lie to scorpio moons they are very very in touch with little um subtle in inconsistencies induendos they know they can see behind the veil so the worker you have saturn okay so today is the saturn moon it's the new moon it's a great time to set intentions for what you want to do in your career yeah this is about your career the worker steadfast disciplined and responsible committed diligent and reliable saturn represents hard work endurance and patience saturn is responsible committed and stable the rewards for, see this is the energy i get i feel like you're you're trying to disconnect from something to connect to something else so you've been very pragmatic and practical and you've been trying to, you've been waiting okay somebody's been waiting here 
and spying. Is it time yet? Should I go now? Should I tell now? Oh, my word. Okay. And, okay, so the rewards for productivity can be grand. The magnitude of achievement depends on the level of effort you put into your aspirations. Saturn's energy brings structure and discipline to attaining your goals. It encourages you to understand your full power and potential, giving you the needed tenacity to reach success. Saturn's insight is determination. When you, diligently, when you diligently push through your limits and boundaries, you open doors to attract opportunity and prosperity on a grand seal level scale. All right. So then we have sacred revolution. Yeah, this is something like you have been plotting, planning, like in secret. And it's like escape route energy. It's like um, robbing a bank energy, you know like those heist it's a heist energy like you've been studying how to do this surrender your fear of intimacy and maybe you finally are surrendering this fear of intimacy but you're doing it in a very down low uh practical or taking the bull by the horns kind of way but not really announcing it to the world it's it's very down low it's like very kind of secretive nobody you know knowing get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion let it flow there's a lot of attraction for somebody so maybe you have been getting your ducks in a row to be able to do this escape route that's what it feels like an escape route energy lord shiva transcendence it's like you finally know what you want because scorpio energy knows what it wants it's like I know what I want. I like it. You know, it's it's very the polarity is Taurus. Taurus also knows what it wants too. It doesn't um, sway from the things that it, it desires. Rise up, honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. It's like you're finally seeing an opportunity, a door that's opening, a window, and you're going for it. Okay, that's what I feel. The divine director. Yeah, intervention and purpose divine intervention is occurring know that you're being guided happiness is your purpose it's like maybe something had to happen maybe the shit had to hit the fan and you finally were like well i gave it all i got now i gotta go <laughs> it's like you it's like you'd kind of like deep down inside you knew this stuff was not going to be working out very well and you're like well i'm hanging on hanging on i think i can do it i think it was like the think I, I think I can, I think I can. And it was like some sign came and you're like, no, that's my sign. It's time to leave. You were thinking about something for too long. You were thinking and thinking, well, how am I going to do it? So, and you're still in that energy of exactly how you're going to execute yourself out of a situation. Um, do I need to clarify? I want to clarify these two major arcanas. Well, you have three. You have the devil and you have the lovers and you have death scorpio oh my god so look death is death is clarified with death the hierophant which is the polarity of scorpio this is a marriage there's this is like saying this marriage has been dead it's been dead for a long time you know or this commitment this long um arrangement the fool and you want something new you want a new energy and it's now the new year and it's that's the, maybe that's what you need to do that's the best time to do it okay so what else do we have for you we're gonna um what am i gonna get oh let's get yeah let's get the crystal guidance crystal visions guidance So thank you so much for watching. If you can give me a thumbs up, if any of this has resonated or uh, a comment, all my information is down below at the show box more. And let's see what we have. Spirit awakens. You've stepped into a new energy, honeys. I embrace my soul purpose and align all aspects of my life to it fully. You're being guided to really just trust spirit and where it's taking you. Like these are very polar polar energies. Like you, and it's a number forty-four. So the angels are guiding you. Yeah. Okay. You have angelic realm around you, but you just have to really surrender into that energy. Jupiter, which is your higher, which is your ruling planet, uh, in Pisces. You don't see what's coming. You don't see what's coming. You can't really see it, touch it. 
understand it. It's an unconceivable kind of thing, but it's a blessing. And when you are trying to think about it too much, you kind of stop the flow from really giving you the blessing. And you have to trust. Abundance, yeah. They want to give you a lot. Jupiter in Pisces is about a lot of abundance. Rich man energy. I am grateful for the abundance nature and the universe provided my life. Look at that. And I said flow and then this card came out. I love that. And then the last one is reach for your dreams. I am the creator of my own dreams and achieve them with confidence. So maybe you've been put playing it small, Saggies. And you need to like really embrace who you are and your enormity of who, you know, your dream and how you want to implement it and do it. Um, but you really have to trust spirit here. They're going to give you inspiration. And it's just happening this year. It's at the very beginning. It's a little, little sprout. Okay. Um, so I feel like some of you have been hopeless. And then like you have to bring, bring back your hope, bring back your power. Third eyes at the bottom of the deck. It says, I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. The third eye. So your psychic eye is like massively. Your psychic spidey senses, you have to trust them. Because I think it's almost like a life or death situation. Um, when you're gifted, okay, and you're, you're one of the chosen ones that have a gift, you're supposed to use it. And when you don't, sometimes it's very... Uh, sad because you're like I could have put up that warning out I could have done that video that might have helped somebody or kept you know kept them aware and it feels like this kind of energy this is really happening on the on a the, on the larger scale okay thank you so much for watching again and take care lots of love and light and have a fabulous 2022 January until next time be good and kind to yourself speak kindly Bye-bye.